Photoshop's latest feature, the generative fill with reference image, actually produce picture-perfect AI photo alterations? Or is this just some sort of marketing hype? Today, I am testing this tool to see if I can reproduce their results. <laughs> All right, Adobe released a new feature to their Generative Fill toolbar this week, or as they call it, the... Contextual Taskbar. Now, if you're familiar with the... Contextual Taskbar. You'd know that up until now, you had to select the part of the image that you wanted to change and then use words like some sort of barbarian to describe the change that you'd like to see. Hi, David here. If you're a barbarian and are watching this, I want to sincerely apologize if my joke was offensive. I value and respect all cultures and identities, and it was not my intention to cause any harm to the barbarian community. I hope you can accept this sincere apology. Anyway, somebody at Adobe had the brilliant idea that instead of using words, you could show Photoshop what you're thinking by using a reference image to guide the generative fill. Of course, Adobe released some marketing materials that show how perfect the reference image tool is. But can I, a regular Photoshop user, recreate such impressive results? Let's see. All right, I'm at the park now, and for this test, I'm going to do two different things. First, I'm going to see if I can replace my backpack, similar to what Adobe had on their website. I'm going to try the traditional text-based method, and then I'm going to also use the reference image. Then I think I'm going to try something a lot harder. I'm going to see if I can replace my dirty old bike here with something new and modern. And again, I'm going to do that using the text-based method, and then I'm also going to see if I can put in a nice new bike using the reference image and see how it does. <laughs> All right, I guess I'm gonna take these photos back and see how Adobe deals with them. And considering I broke my basket, it's as good a time as any to quit. All right, we're back with our images and it's time to test them. Now, I just wanna remind you that this new feature of reference image isn't available inside of regular Photoshop. You have to download the beta version. You can find that inside the Creative Cloud. All right, let's jump to it. Our first one, I'm going to have a look at this backpack here, the first backpack. Now, what my thought is, is I want to do like a smiley face yellow backpack. So I'm just going to highlight the backpack area here. I don't know if I need this strap or not, but I'll just circle it anyway, like that. Now, again, the contextual taskbar pops up here. There's where you can add the new reference image. But for now, I'm just going to type in and test out to see what it's like just using the old method. So I'm going to do yellow smile backpack. Whoops, backpack. Okay, and generate. Let's see what it comes up with. Okay, that's, uh, that's not too bad. Kind of did a nice job with the straps here. That looks pretty good. And a little bit messed up here, but I mean, if somebody saw that picture, you really wouldn't know any different. Looks pretty good. Missing a strap here, but I don't think anyone would notice. Let's get rid of that. I'm going to use the same selection here that I did. And all I did was hit control and click on my layer mask. All right. I'm just going to zoom back out. Now I'm going to use the reference image like they've shown in their advertisements. So I click on this button here and this little dialog box pops up and you can just go choose image. Now I found this smiley face backpack here. I'm going to open that and I'm not going to type anything and I'm just going to hit generate. Okay, so um, yeah, that's not too bad, I guess. It's going for one. The strap looks good. Not sure what's going on here, but it's not too bad. Let's check out this one. It's kind of incorporated some of my coat into the backpack. I don't know if maybe I could have made a better selection around the backpack itself and it wouldn't have incorporated the coat, but it's not too bad, I would say. This is kind of the smiley face backpack um, when I just used the text-based method. And now here's the one where I gave it the reference image to go off of. I would say in either method, the placement of the backpack, you know, its details around the coat and the straps are similar, but I have to say that when I gave it the reference image, it definitely did look for more of the features of my reference image compared to when I did the text-based uh, modeling. But I wouldn't say it's any better on the placement. Both did a fairly good job. I'd say they're passable. 
Let's move on to our next image now. So this one, um, I have my bike. And what I want to do is do a really fancy kind of modern carbon frame bike. So I'm just going to select the bike here. I don't know what I should do with the hands. I'll just go around here and I'll add an additional selection on the back of the bike here, around like that. Generate a thin carbon fiber road bike. Okay, generate. Okay, let's see. Um, I don't know what to think about this. It did an all right job. Maybe on a social media post or something, you'd convince your friends that you got a carbon fiber road bike. Um, but I, if you zoomed in too much, you might see some issues. But all in all, I guess it's okay. I don't really know. Foot's a little messed up here. Okay, good enough. Now let's take that same selection again and let's try it with the reference image. All right, now this time I want to convince my friends that I got a new Cervelo Aspero bike. As a side note, Cervelo, if you're watching this, you could just send me the bike. It would be a lot easier. Okay, anyway, generative fill. Now I'm going to go, I'm going to choose my reference image and I got this nice Cervelo bike right here. I'm going to add it and generate. Okay, and there is my new Cervelo Aspero bike. There's a lot of wonky stuff going off here. I'm not sure this is passable. I would say that our original image using the text-based method of having just saying carbon fiber bike, I wouldn't say any of these actually look like the Cervelo Aspero bike. Um, and definitely when I use the text-based image, that looks a lot worse. All right, there you have it. If you're looking to replace a backpack, probably a shirt or sunglasses or hat or pants or shoes or something like that, the new reference image inside of Adobe Photoshop does a pretty good job. But if you're trying to trick your friends that you got a new Cervelo Aspero gravel bike, I don't think it's going to cut it. All right, I just want to remind everyone that if you found this video useful, please head down to your local print shop and make thousands of posters about my channel and place them all around your city. However, if you think that's too difficult, you could always move your finger a half a millimeter or 19 one thousandths of an inch if you're from the USA and give this video a like. Kind of seems easier, don't you think?